Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got some videos today from Tiki Taki. You know, saga continues. You know, because uh, there's a lot of new guys getting passports. I see a lot of comments down there saying they just got their first passports. Fucking awesome. Please like, subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. Let's get to that chow. It's chow time. Passport, bro. That's some suspect shit to passport, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Go do that. Every man or every person in life should should travel, right? You all should travel. Mm -hmm. Everybody should. Uh -huh. If you find a wife overseas, bro, that's good. That's good. But when y'all start making videos and podcasts saying that that the women over here are just so f trash. Keep it real. I'm keeping it real. They already know I gave chlamydia because I told you when I got mad I wanted to give chlamydia again. I already told you that. You didn't give me shit. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> To be happy and proud to give someone an STD and like brag about it on like Tiki Taki. Society is just, you know, I remember when STDs was a thing that you hid in like the fucking, you buried it to you like on your deathbed kind of thing. Now people are just like, yeah, you got it from me, bitch. <laughs> I definitely burnt you, but it's okay. No, fuck you did not. It's okay. That was my payback for all the years of trauma. Oh my God, the women are so damn so uncorroborative. I'm like, oh my God. Because see now, any man who came to me with any little bit of anything that was inconvenienced, I cut their ass off. Oh baby, let a man have even said anything like submission in his vocabulary. It's just funny that like women get this old and they say this and they think that because they have higher standards. No, it's literally because you had so much trauma back in the day that now you don't want to deal with anything. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. I cut his ass loose. Where you, where I felt like you was wrong and you felt like you didn't owe an apology and you did not give that apology. I was out, baby. I was out. So if you thought I was wrong and I didn't know that I was wrong and didn't apologize to you, you're out. That is it. Men, be careful out there. <laughs> Not saying all women are like this, you know, but like there's, there's good women out there. There is good women out there. Vet them very well. But if they're just gonna let you go for whatever stupid reason it is, just go find someone else. That's all it is. Like, wow, my my goodness. Like, God, I'm this trying guy's to talk to her. To like, oh, she didn't say. She wasn't nice to me, bro. Okay, so if y'all not responding to DMs, you're not responding AM or PM. <laughs> don't. When like, it's I... annoying. You like, said don't? Yeah, don't has the nerve to come up to me and be like oh can i like get your number can i like take you out for a drink or like dinner sometime i'm like no like i'm like i'm good like homie like you're not even good looking enough to fucking come up to me right now first of all second of all do you not see the fuck you sign on my fucking forehead right now i'm here for a fucking purpose i got an early flight to fucking catch i am clearly not in the mood to socialize in civilization you look soft Getting, up, getting behind the camera talking about women this and women that. First of all, there's nothing wrong with black American women. A bullshit. <laughs> black women are aggressive. They don't cater to their, um, their yeah, men. They're argumentative. Uh, they're bullheaded. And I'm looking for something very specific. It's called dick and dinners. Okay? So, on my profile, it says, ISO, dick and dinners. Are you privileged? You know what? I don't hate on it. Dick and dinners. If I meet more women who just want dick and dinner, it'd be so much easier. <laughs> to tell the truth. At least just for the fun aspect of things. But yeah, the, the getting married and starting a family thing. Uh, that ain't gonna happen. Providing the dinners? Are you providing the dick? If not, we have nothing further to discuss, okay? a nine to five guy or a perk head drug dealer with money um perk head a perk head drug dealer with money perk drug dealer with money <laughs> i'm with the perk head with the money a drag dealer i like drug dealers how bad is the perk they all they care about is money 
all they care about is money. So, like, so many people only care about money. Oh, I got another story. I went on a date yesterday, and uh, I went out with my girl. I guess you were not. She's not my girl yet, but you know, the girl I'm seeing right now. And she, she was gonna have dinner with her friends, so I joined them. The one that's funny to me, like the friends, like, "Oh, I'm married. My husband makes two hundred thousand dollars. He's a chef." And I'm just like, I, I, I straight up told her, "It's funny how women just." Love to show off like what their husbands do and how much they make, right? And she was just like, "Well, yeah." And I'm like, and I told her like, "Men don't talk about these things." It's like, then what do you men talk about? And I'm like, "How you look and how nice you are to me, and that's about it." <laughs> For addiction. So we were right all along. The problem is not that you don't want to spend money on women; it's that you don't have enough money, which is what we have been saying all along. Black women are tired of dealing with black men. Like, oh, women in America are not feminine. And there's a reason why we're not feminine. You guys just clearly don't want to understand the reason why, which you just like to talk out of your fucking ass. A way to a man's heart <laughs> is... Why should I care if you're not feminine? Like, what's... Like, like I don't care the reasoning why you're not feminine. The, like, you don't care the reason why I'm not masculine. Like, it, it doesn't work both ways. So why would I ever care? Because you had to raise yourself. You had a hard life or whatever it is. That sucks. But you're an adult. And if you want a man, you need to be feminine. Through his wallet and his bank account always remember that no matter how much money you have in your bank account and how much money you don't need from him it don't matter make him spend it anyway if you want him we can get flued out and get money spent on us right here in america sprinkle sprinkle go get a job get three jobs my man has two jobs go get seven jobs and two side hustles to buy me the things that i want because i'm a woman be a passport bro oh definitely passport, bro. passport bros that was some good chow, you know, the shout outs to Los Varios for life. You know, people are going to get mad at me because I uh, featured black women, but I don't care. <laughs> it is what it is, right? Like, I, I don't talk shit, but, you know, it highlights some of the issues that the black community has. And it's just not the black community. Most of these women can be literally interchanged with almost any race, except for the ones when they talk shit about black men. This is why, like, I think people like to talk like, oh, that race keep about these subjects it's so stupid why not have other people share your things and help spread the word of what's going on i like how whatever podcasts brian kind of goes about thing you know we don't really want to have the too much infighting you know it's just do your own thing and don't really talk shit with each other too much the only reason i, I make certain videos of certain people is because i need to call them out i want to be able to call people out for doing bad things and that's what it is. So please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. It's channel time.